breaking news from Florida. They killed her. It seems that homicide investigators are having to work overtime lately with a number of strange deaths that seem to keep coming up. The latest is out of Florida where a woman's life has been cut tragically short and could have been prevented. Unfortunately, she is not the first nor will be the last after a murder for hire hit went wrong. Who's responsible is also a big part of the problem that President Donald Trump is working quickly to eradicate from the United States. Janice Marie Zingadetta Torres was just 42 when her life came to a sudden, horrific end this week near her home in Kissimmee, Florida. She leaves behind a 14-year-old son who is now without his mother to care for him and will struggle for the rest of his life with what happened to her. Making it worse is that Janice's killers got the wrong person and even though they realized that before killing her, they pulled the trigger anyway because dead men don't talk. However, if Trump had been in office before now or his predecessor done his job, it would have never come to this and a boy would still have his mother today. The New York Post reports. Midway into a Florida murder for hire plot, a boyfriend girlfriend hit team realized they'd zip tied and duct taped the wrong woman, and then killed her anyway, officials said. Victim Janice Marie Zingadetta Torres, 42, of Kissimmee, was forced into the trunk of her own car, tortured for her ATM card, and then suffocated with garbage bags, officials said. The mother of a 14 year old son, she was found Monday, dumped in Ormond Beach six miles north of Daytona, ABC News reported. Even after accused hit team Alexis Ramos and Gloria Marie Quinones Montes realized they had the wrong woman, they still continued with their plan of murder, said Osceola County Sheriff First Gibson. Ramos and Montes are no strangers to criminal activity as the murderers were here in the country illegally to begin with. When you come to this country and get away with it, being able to stay and benefit of American workers, you have no respect for other people and apparently human life too. Had they not been allowed in and deported before now, Janice's life would have been spared along with the countless others who have been killed by illegal aliens. Ishner Lopez Ramos was charged with ordering the hit, originally intended for a romantic rival, the Post reports. It was just a mistaken identity. Gibson gave us an insensitive and lame excuse for what happened, although the sheriff explained that he didn't mean that in a way that takes the tragedy out of the situation. I don't say that lightly, that this woman lost her life for no reason. This mother, this wife, this daughter, for no reason, at all, he added. This serves as a tragic example of exactly what Trump is talking about when it comes to his immigration plan and deporting all those allowed in the country by Barack Hussein Obama and have no business being here. The incident comes at a time when Trump is actively deporting people by the droves and people are protesting this move. Perhaps it's because they haven't suffered the loss that this 14-year-old has, they don't know the pain and tragedy that didn't need to happen and was avoidable if liberals' shady and dangerous agenda hadn't gotten in the way. There were few groups that Obama looked out for more than the illegal immigrants. Maybe it's because of his own questionable status, or maybe he felt the pressing need that all Democrats feel to import their voters, but Obama made more allowances for lawbreakers than just about anyone in history. Sadly for them, that gravy train stopped when President Trump took over and started looking out for Americans first. None of that is the fault of the American taxpayer, but we're the ones being made to feel like monsters if we support only legal immigration. Let's face it, if you've got two lines of people wanting citizenship, and only a limited number can be accepted, because sadly, that's the case, you'd choose the line of people who haven't proven themselves to be lawbreakers, criminals, or killers. It's just common sense, something Obama never seemed to be a fan of. He's is and always has been more concerned for protecting the wrong people than caring for the citizens of this country who want to feel safe when they go outside and not on the receiving end of a case of mistaken identity that ends their lives, their lives.